Hello my lovelies, I hope you're well. My name is Davina Oriaki. If you are new here, thank you so much for stopping by. It's good to have you here. And if you are a returning viewer or subscriber, I hope you've subscribed. Thank you so much for coming back. In this video, I'm going to be showing you I'm going to be showing you everything that I use on my hair. I'm going to be telling you how they have worked for me, what I use them for, how I mix them, etc, etc, etc. So if you're interested, please keep watching. But first, cue the intro! So I thought it would be easier if I just come on the floor and put everything on the table and show you guys. I'm going to start off with the oils. Um, I hope you can see them. So this is cedar wood. This is great for dry scalps and promoting hair growth. To be honest, they all have very similar properties, to be very honest with you but I know that scientifically they do things in a different way. So this is lavender. Lavender oil, I also use ylang ylang oil. This is diluted as well. Um, tea tree oil, isn't di this one isn't diluted. I use tea tree, I hope you can see it. Tea tree oil, this is diluted. This is peppermint oil. When I say diluted, I mean an essential oil being diluted in a carrier. So the carrier here, I think, is sweet almond oil. That's what these ones use. Then my staple, rosemary oil. So these are the essential oils that I use. As I said, they all have very similar properties and they all have similar um, functions. I have, I tend to have a dry scalp so all of these promote hair growth they help dry scalps they help rejuvenate the hair follicles especially lavender and cedar wood ylang ylang promotes um ylang ylang promotes the production of the natural sebum for the scalp which I need because I, I tend to have a dry scalp, especially when I don't take care of my hair. And recently I haven't been taking care of my hair because in August I was going through a time in my life where I, I, I was just going through it, okay. And I was just neglecting my hair. And so when I decided to find things or add things to my hair supplies that would rescue my hair, I came across the properties of Ylang Ylang and Cedar Wood. Cedar wood balances the balances the pH level of the scalp, and so does rose water. But I'm coming to rose water. So those are the essential oils that I use. The carrier oils that I use are argan oil. Hope you can see it. Argan oil, avocado oil, which is newly introduced to the family. Um, jojoba oil and oh, I didn't mention hemp oil hemp oil and coconut oil coconut oil is literally like coconut so the three things I can't do without rosemary oil coconut oil and rose water I can't do without those things I cannot do without them they just have to be here so in terms of jojoba so there are two different types of oils, right? So apart from your essential oils and carrier oils, within carrier oils, there's the moisturizing oils and the sealant oils. Lipstick check. And the sealant oils. So jojoba, argan oil are sealant oils. They're good for shine. They're, good, they, they're oils that sit on top of the hair follicle and the hair shaft. So they seal in the moisture, as the name implies, sealant and they add sheen and shine to the hair and they strengthen the hair. So these sit on top. In terms of my moisturizing oils, coconut oil, number one, number freaking one. Avocado oil, which I have just newly got into and I'm loving it so far. Um, it has so many properties, but it has monosaturated fats, which really do so much for the hair, as I have read. And then there is hemp oil and hemp oil is just, yo. 
it's just amazing. I added to my hot oil treatments, which I mix in this bottle. And it just does so much good for me. So much good. So those are my oils. I do mix my oils myself. As I said, this is my hot oil bottle. And then I have little bottles for different function so this is for my scalp it has peppermint tea tree rosemary and eucalyptus um in the future i'm going to actually add cedar wood because of its normalizing function of normalizing function of the ph of the hair ph balance of the hair um this i use for sheen i mixed it for sheen it's argan hemp pojoba and lavender i actually labeled the bottles guys it's mad then I have this ACV rinse in a scalp for my ACV rinse in a scalp. ACV in a little bottle for my scalp. So what I do is it's one third or less than a third, much less than a third apple cider vinegar, which is ACV and the rest is distilled water. And I spray this in my hair and on my scalp and I massage it in and leave it in for 10 minutes. And I do this before I wash my hair and it helps treat dandruff, it helps remove buildup and things like that. I've never had buildup in my life and I think that's because I just stick to waters and oils, but I did suffer from dandruff over the summer. So yeah, ACV has been really helpful. Um, so for gels, when my hair is due for a retwist and I want to retwist the hairline myself, I just use aloe vera gel. I do have a loctician who treats me very well and so he uses his salons branded lock gel to do my hair um it smells really good i don't know what it is but yeah i use aloe vera gel to retwist my hairline and to also slick down my edges to go to work when my hair is due for a retwist and i don't feel like going for a retwist which is usually most of the time so yeah aloe vera gel which is great it's very moisturizing it doesn't it doesn't it doesn't flake for me. Next is rose water. It's actually finished. I have two bottles upstairs. <laughs> rose water is my staple. I cannot go without rose water. It just has to be here. It just has to. Rose water is hydrating, it's antifungal, it's um, my antimicrobial, anti-inflammatory. It smells really good. It helps hydrate the hair. It's very hydrating, very hydrating. Also worth mentioning the essential oils most of them have antibacterial and antifungal and antimicrobial properties. Tea tree oil, rosemary oil, peppermint oil. I definitely know about those ones. I think I've covered those. So I use for shampoo and conditioner, I use the Shea Moisture, shout out to Shea Moisture. Shea Moisture Jamaican Black Castor Oil Strengthen and Restore Shampoo. It is amazing. And I use the corresponding conditioner. So it has shea butter, peppermint, apple cider vinegar, and it cleanses and nourishes. It has no sulfates, no parabens, no mineral oil, no propylene glycol, no phthalates. I can't pronounce it. No petrolatum, and it doesn't. It isn't tested on animals. And honestly. It is so good. It's one of the best things that I have bought. I used to use Cantu shampoo and conditioner. Personally, I didn't like it, and which discouraged me from washing my hair by myself. I would usually just wait to go to the loctician to wash my hair. Um, but ever since I found these babies, it has been amazing. I really do appreciate them. Um, yeah, and I'm very picky about my products. It, uh, if you have noticed, it's just oils and water I have shown you. I'm very picky about products because I don't want to see a para bean or a para something. I don't want to see a sulfate. I don't want to see no eights. I don't want to see no pe petrolatum. I don't want to see no mineral oil. And a lot of these products do have things that would gunk up the hair, cause buildup, add unnecessary grease and silicone. All those things I'm not a fan, so I'm very picky about products. However, I found this baby two weeks ago when I first retwisted, before I retwisted my hair actually. Um, it came, I what attracted me to it was that it said it was an effective scalp treatment and it was silicone free. It doesn't have any mineral oils, parabens, sulfates, nothing. Like the ingredients are 
great because it doesn't have any nasties in it. It's the Jamaican black castor oil mist infused with tea tree oil. And honestly, it is so good. And because Jamaican black castor oil is a sealant oil and tea tree oil is an essential oil, it just makes sense that they would say that it's an effective scalp treatment and also, you know, it prevents dry, itchy scalp, encourages hair resistance to breakage and frizz because it's a sealant oil and sealant oils are strengthening. So when I saw this, I was like, I definitely have to pick it up and it is actually worth every penny I paid for it. I don't remember how much I paid for it, but it was not not up to six or seven pounds. It's re like, honestly, really good. I would definitely go for it again. What else do I use on my hair, y'all? trick that I use when it comes to hair ties is, so my hair ties, <laughs> they look really ratchet, but I like them because they allow me to control the tightness and the hold. So this is what my hair ties look like basically. And I get, I make this by myself out of pantyhose. So I get old pantyhose and I cut it up with a pair of scissors. I don't even look at it too much. I just cut it up with a pair of scissors. I do like this, do like this, do like this. Ooh. And then it becomes, you know, something that I can use to tie my hair, basically. So this is my little hack. I own many silk scarves. I just brought a couple downstairs for you to see. Um, and then I have this bonnet which my dear friend got for me, but it slacks. So I'm not a, I'm not a fan of bonnets, if I'm being very honest with you. I am not a fan. I like the way they look when you know you go shopping for them. They look really nice on the model's head or on the picture, you know, like on the model's head online in store. They look really nice, but I'm not a fan because I feel like they always slack. For me personally and they always fall off my head and um, they don't actually keep a retwist fresh for me they were great when I was starting my locks and I needed the friction for my hair texture to actually you know lock at some point but now that my hair is maturing in the mature stages yeah in the adult stages it just doesn't do much for me Especially when I'm trying to maintain a fresh retwist. So, scarves. Oh, I have a lock sock actually. I have a lock sock. This is my lock sock. And it's basically like a stretchy, satiny material. And I put this, I usually put my hair up so that it's easier for me to pull this down. And I use this to go to bed and it also is great for maintaining a fresh retwist. So one thing that I have that I have gotten recently is a continuous spray bottle. I used to use this, you know, traditional conventional spray bottle that everyone has, um, but I've been seeing this all over the lock community and on Instagram and on YouTube, and I'm just like, I want one for myself, I do. So I got one, I put in rose water, two drops of lavender, two drops of cedar wood, and one drop of ylang ylang. I want to see if it actually is continuous. So let's see, let's spray. Oh, I see. Oh, that smells so nice. Oh, that smells so nice. Oh, I like the way it sprays. I'm in love. <laughs> I like the way it sprays. Oh, I love, I love, oh, that mixture that I just said, it smells really good, by the way. Oh. It really is continuous. Go technology. That is all that I use for my hair, guys. I've shown you everything that I use. Um, if you're interested in seeing how I mix my different spray bottles for different purposes and for different functions let me know leave a comment below and i will shoot a video for that and that is it my advice to anyone that is watching this video limit eliminate reduce whatever to nilch 
the purchase of mousses, gels, pomades, waxes, butters, anything like that for your locks. I have been locked for four years now and I have never had any build up, no build up whatsoever. And that is because I just focus and that is because I just focus on using oils and water. You, before you pick up a product, read it, make sure it has no parabens, sulfates, mineral oils, anything. Just do your research and make sure that you're not take, you're not purchasing any products that would cause buildup in your hair. Buildup is not something that you want to treat, it is something that you want to avoid. Prevention is better than cure. However, there are different ways of getting rid of buildup. As I've said, ACV rinse is one of them, but it... You know that prevention is better than kill. You know. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment below. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't subscribed. Thank you. Um, and I'm an independent artist. I do share music on my channel, my music on my channel. So make sure you click somewhere over here and listen to some music or you can watch some more lock videos there's variety on my channel okay okay <laughs>